This season on Beyond the Arch, I spoke with some of the most interesting and dynamic student-athletes Marywood has to offer. I became a catcher for a day, went head-to-head -head with lacrosse players and interviewed one of the most accomplished freshmen in Marywood Pacers history. We dive into the best highlights of the season so far, right now on Beyond the Arch. My first guest on the show was a sophomore catcher for the Marywood Pacers baseball team, Anthony Navarro. While interviewing Anthony was easy, trying to be a catcher like him was difficult. I only spent about 10 minutes with him, but it felt like an hour. Here is the first one-on-one -on -one segment of the semester. Today I'm at the Marywood Pacers baseball practice, where I'm going one-on-one -on -one with their catcher, Anthony Navarro. He's going to put me through a bunch of drills, so we better get going because I don't want to be late to practice. There's two positions, make sure you do something like this. This is just like no no outs. Um, and then the second position would be the secondary position like this. catchers to, you know, go crazy at the plate. You have enough to worry about behind it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you're feeling good. <laughs> so basically, we're throwing down the second. Okay. And we're working on the transfer here. Take the, take the glove to the ear. And then we're going to step through. Right. And then throw it down. My knees feel like I'm about 80 games through the season. <laughs> I'd say I'm a 162 gamer. Uh, I definitely have more appreciation for the catcher position after today. It's not just squatting back there and catching a ball, that's for sure. So, thank you so much. Thanks, thanks for being in the field. Next, I sat down with men's lacrosse defenseman Luke McFadden. He opened up about why he wanted to go into the pre physician's assistant program. He also spoke about the biggest thing he prides himself on while playing lacrosse. Here's the best from Luke McFadden. What drew you into this PA pro? What, what drew you to that specific major? Is there any in particular thing you really love about that major? Or what do you think? Um, I would say just, again, I would kind of tie it back to sports because I was always in the doctor's office and I was like, I would come back with broken bones <laughs> yeah. or whatever. I got stitches all the time. So I was kind of thinking like, oh, this my body's amazing. Like, it's crazy. I can heal. I can go <laughs> out there, do all that. So then I started looking into healthcare, just kind of the really the body interested me. And I was like, oh, I don't want to go do 10 years of school right. or to become a doctor, that seems too much. And then I kind of stumbled upon physician assistant. And um, the fact that I can do it in six years and still be a qualified mm -hmm. healthcare professional, really, I think that's great. So um, how have you found Marywood's program here? Oh, I love it. I love it. I love uh, the class size, I would say, really makes a big difference. I think um, I have a good connection with all my teachers. I feel mm -hmm. comfortable. I like it. So what are your career aspirations in that field? 
I would like to go into orthopedics again. I would like to stay kind of in that sports realm where I would like, when I get older, I can see athletes like myself and say, hey, how's your season going? Or I would like to say more in the sports realm. And I think the orthopedics would be able to uh, give me that exposure. So when did you start playing lacrosse? Um, I started lacrosse, um, oh, I don't even know, probably like <laughs> young, third, third, fourth grade. Okay. Um, and again, I think it was just, uh, at that time, I think it was kind of just a boom. All of a sudden, everyone's like, oh, yeah, our high school has a lacrosse team. I was like, so all my friends are like, yeah, let's play lacrosse. And I was like, all right, like, let's do it. What is one thing that you pride yourself on more than anything else on the field, would you say? Um, I would say communication. I think uh, I, w I always talk to everybody, like every time, I don't know if you've watched the games, but every time we get scored on, which, you know, happens, um, I always bring everybody in. I like to talk and kind of, try and figure out what went wrong. And I think that's our, I think that's the biggest part of being a team is being able to be like, hey, uh, you should be doing this and then receiving that communication and not losing your temper or doing anything like that. When we return, I look back at some of the best moments from episodes three and four. Stay with us. Right, mi cariño. So like I said, everything I learned about cooking, I learned from grandma's and bananas. Shall we go again? Yep. Mix the beef with the onions, the onions with the peppers, the peppers with the paprika, the paprika with the garlic, the garlic with the oregano, the oregano with the cumin. Got it? Got it. Throw on the olive, stir, season, stir again, pour out the flour, roll out the dough, make a circle, drop in a fistful of filling, fold over, press down, and ta-da! Hmm. Most parenting is hard to do in just two minutes. But two minutes twice a day making sure they brush is easier, and it could help save them from a lifetime of tooth pain. Welcome back to the show. After interviewing Luke, I stayed with the lacrosse theme, this time on the women's side. Sophomore midfielder Gwyneth Gleason arrived to not only beat me on the turf field, but talk the upcoming season, especially the eagerly awaited Colonial States Athletic Conference title rematch with Cabrini University. So okay. what's the first shot we're going for? So the elevator shot is when you start low, and then you kind of work your way up as you're shooting. Like that. Elevator shot. <laughs> Really, really. You do this again? <laughs> Until you make it. Oh, wow. Well. So behind the back. Extending. You're going behind the back. There you go. There we go. Behind the back. <laughs> so have you guys faced that direction? I'm going to roll at a ground ball. Whoever picks up the ground balls on offense, whoever doesn't is on defense, and then the offender is going to go to cage to try to score. Oh, okay. You ready? Yeah. Go. <laughs> the upcoming season for lacrosse. Now, I know field hockey in the playoffs, you guys lost to Gabrini. And then per usual. <laughs> lacrosse, actually, same fate. So, yep. I mean, be honest, are you just chomping at the bit right now to get a shot at Cabrini, or how is it? Yeah, um, definitely. <coughs> um, I think that they're, they're definitely our top competitor, and everyone always gets a little bit nervous. But I think that we just need a new mindset we need to go in there with, you know, the basically that we want to win and that we're going to do what we need to do, the little things to make it happen. And last year, I think in our final game, it didn't really show, didn't re like reflect what we were all about because we did get crushed. <laughs> but um, this year, I think we're all just really excited. Mm -hmm. And April 21st, oh, so home game. The date's already <laughs> <Be> in there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we're all ready. that date circled then, right? Oh, right yeah. So Highlighted. Is it more of a mental thing or a physical thing, or what is it? Is it just a mental something? I think it's think? mental because we've been putting in a lot of work uh, physically, but I think it's all a mental game. You just got to go in there with the right mind. We wrapped up the first half of the season interviewing one of the most accomplished freshman athletes. 
cross country and track athlete, David Haynes. Here are some of the best moments from my interview with David. How did you get to Marywood? Well, I mean, the college, like looking for a college, I, I, hated, I didn't really like it that much. <laughs> you know, I was yeah. very happy when it's over. But um, I kind of knew I wanted to stay like local, commute. Mm -hmm. So I mean, like had a couple options with the different universities and colleges around. But um, also knew I wanted to run. So, and uh, I knew Kevin. He's my one of my coaches here at Marywood. He's a good friend. So uh, that kind of brought me here too. And also the major, I'm early childhood education major. So that was a big part too. What draws you to running? Because I feel like, you know, for somebody like me, okay, like, I mean, you know, it's, it's okay, but it's, it's mm -hmm. taxing. It's a lot of work. It seems like a grueling sport. So what just, why, why running? Well, before I really got into running, I played a lot of baseball and practice all the time. And I just, I just kind of like started getting sick of it. And I decided, you know, I kind of had a, my sophomore year of high school, I had a really bad, like I had a really bad ending to the year. And I, I said then and there, I was like, you know, I want to really get good at this. I'm going to focus all my attention to this and really put in the work, get to where, like get to the top. And it's just something I love doing. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. It might be kind of weird, but I don't know. Absolutely like, not. It's your passion. Yeah, like, I don't know, just the reward of putting all the hard work, you know, just Absolutely. after the race feels really good. What does it feel like to you when you're running? Like, is it, because some people say, like, you know, it's this great, beautiful thing. Like, you feel like it's so nice and it's like freedom. Like, do you feel like that or do you feel like, oh, my God, like, my legs are on fire? Like, what do you feel like? At times, it's really nice. And other times, like I said, you question, I question why I yeah. do it. Um, but no, it's it's good to clear like your mind. Uh, you think about a lot of stuff. You know, you're out there for quite a while at times. But um, yeah, there's definitely times and days where you just I don't know, rather sleep, yeah. <laughs> stay in bed. <laughs> I want to thank you for watching tonight. Next episode, swimmer Zach Costello is here. Head over to TV Marywood's official YouTube page to watch full episodes of the show. Be sure to follow TV Marywood on Twitter and like us on Facebook. From everyone at TV Marywood, have a great night. Thank you.